let's begin h limited obtained from g limited please stop talking h limited obtained from g limited a coal mine on lease on 1st january 1998 on the following terms and conditions royalty of rupee 1 per ton raised so the royalty to be paid is rupees 1 minimum rent rupees 12000 per annum recoupment of short working of each year during 3 years following what we saw in the second problem was recoupment during the 2 years following in the second problem if you remember this recoupment is during 3 years after the short working has arisen subject to a maximum of rupees 2500 per annum what's the meaning of this you can re recoup in the next 3 years but up, uh, at, uh, to the maximum of 2500 per annum you can't recoup more than 2500 even if you have a higher surplus you can't recoup or you can't recover more than 2000 500 in the event of a strike the minimum rent would be taken on pro rata basis pro rata is proportionately on the basis of actual working days okay so we will see how this is to be done but the in the event of a lockout event of a strike which on employees stop working they go on a strike so there's nothing being manufactured or there's nothing being produced similarly in the event of a lockout when the whole uh, firm or the whole plant is closed the lessee would enjoy a concession in respect of minimum rent for 50% of the period of lockout so let's just see what this is when it comes to it working up to the first 6 years is as follows these are the tons that have been raised 98 till uh, 2003 then in uh, 2002 there's a strike for 73 73 days and 2003 this is a there is a lockout so the necessary ledger accounts in the books of h So let's start. H limited here is the lessee. So we are going to do it in the books of the lessee. So memor uh, analysis of royalties payable. Analysis of royalties pay payable. Name the table. We have year. We have output, or you can call it production. Royalty. minimum rent short working or surplus short working slash surplus short working recouped short working carried forward and short working to pnl accounts finally the payment to nanda or lesser payment to landlord or lesser so just write down what or what information is given to you So we write down all the years, Okay. Uh, now, if you see here, if you see here, the workings up to the first six years is as follows. Please, please pay attention here, everyone. Pay, pay attention here. If you see here, nineteen ninety eight rupees seven thousand, nineteen ninety nine rupees ten thousand two hundred. So, is this given in tons or is this given in the final amount? The final amount. So, you don't have to multiply. Okay. I didn't see this rupees. It's given as a final amount. These are not tons. Okay, so basically we don't need this column, this output column. We don't need because the royalty is directly given to us. Okay, we don't need this output column. I didn't realize that we don't need this output column because the royalty is directly given to us. So we are just going to write the royalty every year: seven thousand in the first year, ten thousand two hundred. 
then we have 16,100, 13,600, and 9,700. Now, write the minimum rent. Now, just be careful when you're writing the minimum rent because in some years, there is a strike and a lockout. Okay. Now, what have they said? Let's just read this paragraph. In the event of a strike, the minimum rent would be taken at pro rata basis. Now, how much is the minimum rent? 12,000. But in case in a year where there is a strike, it needs to be reduced accordingly based on the number of days for how much there was a strike. Okay. So in 2002, there is a strike. In 2002, there is a strike for 73 days. Okay. So how are we going to reduce the minimum rent? How are we going to reduce the minimum rent? What have they said? They have said uh, minimum rent would be taken on, on at pro rata on the basis of actual working days. So how are we going to calculate the minimum rent for actual working days? 12,000 is for the whole year. How many days in a year? 365 days. How many days there has been a uh, strike? 73 days. So we have to see for 73 days how much is the rent and minus it accordingly. Okay. So uh, this is the calculation. 12,000 is for... 365 days. 12,000 is for 365 days. For for 73 days, it is how much? For 73 days, it is how much? So cross multiply, how much you get? How much you get? That is after minusing that amount. How much you get? Yeah, it's 2400. How you got 9600? You got the actual answer, but that's a final answer. Okay, you actually get 2,400. Now pay attention here. Ah, you did it directly. Okay, you actually get 2,400. Now what is the meaning of this? This 2,400 is for that 73 days, which there was a strike. Okay, so how much is the total minimum rent? It is 12,000 minus 2,400. Why are you minusing 2,400? Because for those 73 days, there was a strike. And then you get 9,600. So how did I get this 9,600? It's basically 12,000 minus 2,400. 12,000 minus 2,400. Okay. We don't interfere with the royalties because that is what has been actually earned. Okay. We only reduce the minimum rent because in that year there was a strike. Those online, any questions with regard to this? Okay. And in 2003, now pay attention. In 2003, there is a lockout for four months. In 2003, there is a lockout for four months. What have they said in case of a lockout? But in the event of a lockout, the lessee would enjoy a concession in respect of minimum rent for 50% of the period of lockout. Concession means what? For 50% of the period of lockout, the lessee does not, the minimum rent is going to be reduced by that. Okay. Now, how much is the lockout for how many months? Four months. So, it's going to get a concession for how many months? Two months. Okay. So, I'll just make a note just for you to understand. In case of a lockout, the concession is 50% for of the period of 
lock out. Since the lock out is for four months, concession will be for two months. Concession will be for two months. Yeah. So 12,000 again is for the whole year. For two months it will be how much? 12,000 is for the whole year. Two months it will be how much? 2,000. So how much will be the actual minimum rent? For two months you don't have to pay. For how much will be the actual minimum rent? 10,000. How did I get 10,000? It's basically 12,000 minus 2,000. How did I get 2,000? Yeah, the 12,000 is for the whole year. For two months it is how much? So if you want you can show that 12,000 is for 12 months. Okay. We are interested to know for two months. Though the lockout is for four months, I've taken only for two months because they're getting a concession only for 50% of the lockout period. Clear? Everyone, is this understood? If somebody is not understood, please ask. Yes, I will repeat the one for 2000. I said, they said in the period of, but in the event of a lockout, the lessee would enjoy a concession in respect of minimum rent for 50% of the period of lockout. Concession in minimum rent for 50% of the period of lockout. So here the lockout is for four months. Okay, so 50% of the period will be two months. So for those two months, they don't have to be charged a minimum rent. So what I've done, if 12,000 is for 12 months, for two months you get a concession. 50% of the period of lockout. And two months it is 2,000. So 12,000 minus 2,000 it is? It is 10,000. Audrey, is that understood? Which one did I do? Okay. Okay. 2002 it's a strike. 2002 it's a strike. So what they said, in the event of a strike, the minimum rent would be taken at a pro rata on the basis of actual working days. Okay. So they've said there's a strike for 73 days. There's a strike for 73 days. Please stop talking here. Strike for 73 days. So 12,000 is for the full year. That's 365 days. So for 73 days, it is how much? Okay. So by that amount, we need to reduce the minimum rent by 2,400. Because for 73 days, there has been no work happening. It has been a strike. Is that understood, Audrey? Okay, I'm assuming it's understood. So we will start with the calculations now. Now, in the first year, is there a short working or a surplus? Short working or a surplus? Royalty is 7,000, minimum rent is 12,000. What do we have? Surplus. What is the difference? What is the short working? When the minimum rent is more than the actual royalty. When the minimum rent is more than the actual royalty, we have a short working. When the actual royalty is more than the minimum rent, we have a surplus. Okay, so we have a short working. So basically a short working of 5,000. Weren't you all pay, paying attention when you all were attending online? Why? Next, short working recoup. Now we can't recoup anything because we don't have any surplus to recoup from. Okay, so that's going to be a dash. What is the agreement to recoup the short workings here? How many years? Recoupment of short working of each year during the three years following. So, if a short working has arisen in this year, 
you have the next three years to recoup it. If the short walking has arisen in 1999, you have next three years up till 2002 to recover it. Okay, so till we can recover it, we keep carrying it forward. So we are going to carry the entire short working forward, 5,000. Nothing to be transferred to PNL account. When do we transfer to PNL account? Only when it cannot be recouped. So dash and payment to landlord will be payment to landlord will be 12. It's going to be 12,000. It's payment to landlord is like this. It's either actual royalty or minimum rent, whichever is higher. Whichever is higher. That's why the minimum rent is there so that the landlord does not face any financial difficulties. Coming to the next year, how much is the short working? 1,800. Again, we cannot recoup anything because there is no surplus to recoup from. It's a short working only. Okay? So that's going to be a dash. Short working carried forward. How much do we have now? A total of 5,000 plus 1,800. A total short working of 6,800. We still have years to recover this. We still have the years to recover this. 6,800. Put a dash here. Payment to landlord will be 12,000. Now come to the third year. What do we have? Surplus. Surplus of 4,100. There is a surplus of 4,100. Okay. Now... How much is the total short working that we have? 6,800. Okay. How much can we recoup at the most? We have a surplus of 4,100. But how much can we recoup at the most? There is a condition. Now, if this condition was not there, we would have recouped the entire 4,100. Is this clear? Because of this condition, they said, in a year, you can recoup at the most 2,000. Okay, so let's recoup 2,500. Let's recover 2,500. Now pay attention here. In the first year, you have a short working of how much? 5,000. What's the condition? You can recover the short workings in the next three years at the most. Okay, next three years for each of the years. So, 1998, you can recover up till 2001. Next three years. Okay. Now, let's check only the first year. 5,000, you have recovered 2,500. How much is still left to recover? 2,500. Do we still have a chance? Do we still have another year to recover 2,500? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So, we are going to carry that entire 2,500. And for this one also, we still have a chance. So, how much are we going to carry forward? 2,500 plus... 1,800. How much will that be? 4,000. How did I get that? 4,300. 25 plus 1,8. If you want, you can make pen pencil markings for you all just to understand how these calculations are done. 25 plus 1,8. How did I get this 25? 25 is from this, the first one. And 1, 8 is the entire second one. Why have taken only, why have taken 2, 5 from here? Because we still have hope of recovering it in the next year. Okay. Short working to PNL account. Are we transferring anything yet? No. Only when you know it cannot be recovered at all, that's when it goes to the PNL. How much will be the payment to landlord? No, no, you tell me. 600? See, how much has been the royalty? I said royalty or minimum rent, whichever is higher. Okay. Now, which is higher here? 16,100. But out of 16,100, how much have we used for recoupment? 2,000. 
500. So how much will you pay the landlord? 16,100 minus 25. Tell me how much it comes to? 13,000. How did I get this? 13,600. Basically, Sixteen one hundred minus two thousand five hundred. Sixteen one hundred minus two thousand five hundred. Is this understood, everyone? Okay, we can't take the entire sixteen one hundred because we have used part of it for recoupment. Now coming to this here. What is the? There's a short working or a surplus? surplus again of 1,600. Now, again, we need to go year by year. How much is left from the first year to recover? 2,500. Can we recover the entire 2,500? No. How much do we have here? Only 1,600. So, how much can we recover? 1,600 at the most. Okay. Now, listen, look here very carefully. From this 2,500, we can recover at the most 1,600. So, have we managed to recover the entire short working of the first year? No. Is this the last year to recover the short working of the first year? Yes. So, if we can't recover anything else, what we do? We transfer it to the BNL account. So, how much are we going to transfer? 2,5 was left. Out of 2,5, we have recovered only 1,6. How much are we going to transfer here? Very good. 900. If you want, you can write for yourself. This is how did I get 900? That 25 which was left minus 16. What are we going to carry forward now? What are we going to carry forward? Say it. What are we going to carry forward? 1800 it was going to be carried forward. Because for this 1800, we still have another year to go. Is this clear? So you need to check year by year. You need to check year by year. Okay, first give preference to the earlier years. How much will we pay to the landlord now? Now you tell me. How much is the uh, royalty? Royalty is 13.6. Minimum rent is 12. How much will we pay? Whichever is higher, I said 13.6. But out of 13.6, we have used 1.6 for recoupment. So how much can we pay? Next year, this one. How did I get this? Okay. Uh, what are we, what's the meaning of carried forward? Carried forward is you have hope of recovery in the forthcoming years. Okay. Now, well, what is this 1,800? Is 1,800 is basically the short working. We have already settled this one. This one we can't recover anymore. Whatever we could, we did here and we did here. Okay. So, we have recovered a total of uh, 2,500 plus 1,600, 3,000, 4,100. Out of 5,000, 900 we can't recover. We've transferred it to the PNL. Okay? But 1,800, we still have another year because it's three years. Understood? It is three years. Is that understood? Okay? Uh, coming to this year, we have a... What do we have here? Surplus or a short working? How much is a uh, surplus? 1,000. How much? 1,200, right? Now, which short working are we going to tra target the second year? Okay. How much can we recover at the most? 1,200. Though the short working is 1,8, we can recover at the most uh, 1,200. Is this the last year to recover this short working? Which is this short working? This is of 1999. 
1999 can be recovered in the next years and have we reached this last the last is this the third year yes okay so out of out of 18 we have managed to recover only one two will we carry forward that balance 600 or transfer it to pnl account transfer it to pnl so that balance 600 will go to pnl Huh? Next one. So how much is going to be the payment to landlord now? Very good. It's going to be nine thousand six hundred. We can't pay ten thousand eight hundred because out of ten eight one two is used for recoup. Now in the final year again, that is a short working or a surplus. Short working of three hundred. So there is no question of recoupment. What are we going to do? Carry it forward or transfer it to PNL account? Now see, now there is a there is a there may be a doubt here. They have not told us the period of lease. Okay, and normally when mines are taken on lease, they are taken on long leases. They have not told us a period of lease, so we can't assume that the lease ends here. Now, if they have said the lease period was six years, you get my point? If they had said the lease period was six years, what I would have done with this? I would have directly transferred it to PNL account because there is no hope after that. The lease is coming to an end. But we are assuming it's a long lease, and the short working can be carried. You get the point. Okay, so that depends problem wise. If it's not, if it's not clear, you can make an assumption and write your assumption below. Okay, some people may transfer it, may transfer it to profit and loss account. Some people may carry it forward. Okay, but I'm assuming. What am I assuming? It's a long lease. Whose phone is that? I'm assuming it's a long lease, so I'm going to carry it with the hope that it can be recouped in the forthcoming. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, Write it here. Three hundred. And how much will be the payment here? Ten thousand. Is this clear? Those online, any questions? Today's uh, statement was a little more complicated than what I've done in the first two problems. Any questions? Those online? Okay. Let's start posting the entries. We are doing it in the books of the lessee. And who's the lessee here? H Limited. H Limited obtained lease, so it's H Limited. What's the first account? Okay. They have not said with minimum rent or without minimum rent. We will do it without minimum rent. Okay. So royalties account. Royalties account. Royalties account. Then we have short working account. Short working account. And finally, who's the landlord? G Limited. G Limited account. So we are doing without minimum rent, okay? Because nothing has been told to us. You will require around fifteen lines for the short working and the landlord account. Around fifteen lines, and for this, it will be around six. Royalties will be around six to seven. Okay, let's begin. Now in the first year, we've got this. Remember again, I'm repeating it. We have got two sets of entries. When minimum rent is more than the actual royalty, the years where minimum rent is more than the actual royalty, and the years when actual royalty is more than the minimum rent. So based on that, you need to see. Year wise, you need to see which set of entries. The first set of entries is minimum rent is more than the actual royalty. And the first year, what is the situation? Minimum rent is more than the actual royalty. Okay. So what is the entry? What is the entry? If you don't know your entries, 
these problems can't be solved. You're not going to get 20 marks for the statement only. Okay, so you need to do the statement. I know the statement is quite interesting and easy, but entries you need to learn. And please see that you learn them soon, as soon as possible. Okay, it's royalties account debit, short working account debit to landlord. Okay, if we were doing it with minimum rent, it would have been minimum rent account debit to landlord, royalties account debit, short working account debit to minimum rent. I showed you all that minimum rent gets cancelled out, debit and credit. Please go to the entries. You are looking at me like I'm speaking. I've not shown you all the entries only till now. Okay. So, royalties account debit. Shh, stop, stop talking. Short working account debit to landlord. So, it is on first. Uh, Thirty first December nineteen ninety eight to landlord is two G limited. Two G limited. The royalty in the first year is seven thousand. Similarly, short working account debit thirty first December nineteen ninety eight two G limited. Short working is 5,000. Short working is 5,000. So the entry is royalties account debit, short working account debit to G Limited. So in G, G Limited, we are going to have it as buy royalties and buy short working. Royalty is 7,000, short working is 5,000. First entry is for royalty is payable. This is what we have passed. Sorry, for the amount payable, whether it's minimum rent or royalty is payable. Second one is the actual payment that's made to the landlord. What's the entry? When you're making the payment to the landlord, you're the lessee. Money going out or money coming in? Going out, right? So how are you, what's the payment going to be? Who's the landlord here? G Limited debited to bank. So on 31st December 1998 to bank. How much has been paid to the landlord? Check. It's 12,000. 12,000 has been paid to the landlord. Okay. And the last one is transfer the royalties. Here will be transferred to the trading account or the PL account? Trading account or PL account? PL account is used when it's sales. Trading account is used when it's production or output. So here, what is it? What is it? Are you selling those minerals or are you extracting it? It's like production, right? So it's going to be trading account. It's a mine in question. Say, suppose you had made something and sold. That time it would have been, I think the last problem was sales. Second problem that I did. So it was profit and loss account. So here it's going to be buy trading account. Please go through the entries. Buy. Buy trading account seven thousand. That's it. Close the uh, accounts for the first year. This one will tally. What do we say in the short working account? We have a balance. What do we say in the short working account? We have a balance. What are we doing with the short working balance? Carrying it forward. So it's going to be buy balance, buy balance, carried down. So if we say buy balance, carry down, bring down the balance to 
balance brought down. To balance brought down. Now coming to the, this account closes, it's telling, so you don't need to close it. It's already closing by itself. Coming to the second year now, what is the situation? Again, its minimum rent is more than the actual royalty, so the same set of entries. Okay, so the first entry is what? Royalties account debit, short booking account debit to landlord. So royalties account debit to landlord to G Limited. Which is the royalty? 10,200. 10,200. Short working account debit to G Limited. Short working in the first year is 1,800. And we say in G Limited it will be by royalties and by short working. That's 10,200 and 1,000. Next one is for the payment. Okay, so it's landlord account to bank. So on 31st December 1999 to bank, you check your statement, 12,000 has been paid. And then finally transfer this to the trading account. By trading account, 10,000. Close this, uh, close the accounts. So this is 12,000. This is 12,000. Here also you'll have a 6,800. If you check your second year, see how much is the balance carried forward. It will be 6,800 in the statement. So on 31st December 1999, by balance carried down 6,000. Check your statement. This the ledger account basically reflect what is happening in the statement every year. So if you say buy balance carry down, first January two thousand two balance brought down. Two balance. Now we need to check what's happening in the third year. What is happening in the third year? What's the situation? Actual royalty is more than the minimum rent. So we move to the second set of entries. What's the second set of entries? Now when actual royalty is more than the minimum rent, will there be short working? Can there be short working when actual royalty is more than the minimum rent? No. So what is the entry when uh, minimum rent is more than the short in this first two years, when minimum rent is more than the actual royalty, royalty account debit, short working account debit to landlord. What we just passed, 
Now we are in a situation where actual royalty is more than the minimum rent. So will they be short working? No. So it will be just royalty account debit to landlord. Remember it that way at least. Okay. So royalty account debit to landlord account. On 31st December 2002, G Limited. How much is the royalty? 16,100. Your royalties account will always be like this to landlord by trading or by profit and loss account. Okay, till every year, whatever the situation may be. Okay, 2G limited, 16,100. So the entry is royalties account debit to landlord account. There's no short working now. So in G limited, what do we say? 31st December 2000. Thirty first December two thousand by royalties sixteen thousand one hundred sixteen thousand one hundred next we go to the payment now since we are in a year where actual royalties is more than the minimum rent we have a surplus and since we have a surplus there's a chance of recoupment so what's the entry otherwise it would have been landlord account to bank now it is landlord account to bank, to short working, which can be recouped. Okay. Do we have a recoupment in the second year? In the third year, sorry. Do we have a recoupment? Yes. So it's going to be landlord account to bank, to bank, and to short working. To bank. How much is paid to the landlord? To bank is always the actual payment made. How much is paid? How much is paid? 13,600. 13,600. And how much is recouped? Your landlord account also will, every year it will tally. There won't be a balance carried down. Okay. If you see here, your landlord account is tallying. What's the meaning of this? From the total royalties, 13.6 has been paid, 2.5 has been used for recoupment. So if you say G limited to short working, in short working, how will it be? 31st December 2000 by G limited. 2005. If there was a transfer to P, please pay attention. If there was a transfer to PNL account here of short workings, that also would have been reflected. There have been PNL account debit to short workings. Shabnam, if there was a transfer to PNL account here, that also would have been reflected. It would have been PNL account debit to short workings. Okay, that's not there now, but it's there in the next year. So finally, transfer the royalties to the trading account. $16,100. Close the accounts. The landlord account will balance. $16,100. If it doesn't balance, that means there's some mistake that you have made. So remember, every year it balances. So you have to pass the entries accordingly. And if it's correct, it will balance. Okay. This will normally have a balance carried down. Uh, so we have a balance carried down now. By balance carried down. How much is the balance carried down? 6, 8 minus 2, 5 will be 4,300. If you check your statement, you'll see a balance carried forward of 4,300. Check whether it's correct. If you check your statement, you'll have a balance carried forward of 4,300. So that's the same thing that's reflected here. Bring down the balance. 2, balance, brought down, 4,300. 
and the royalties account balances. So now we move to the fourth year. Now in the fourth year, we have a similar situation where actual royalty is again more than the minimum. So the same set of entries again. So royalty is account debit to G limited. To G limited. Royalty is 13,600. So buy in G limited, say buy royalties. By royalties, 13,600. Okay. Next comes the payment. What's the payment? G limited to bank, landlord account to bank, to any short working recoup. We have a recoupment in the second year, in the fourth year. Yes. Okay, we have a recoupment. So, landlord account to bank. to bank and to short working recouped. How much is paid to the landlord? Just check and then 12,000 and how much is recouped? 1,600. How much? 1,600. You see your landlord account is tallying again. So if you say G limited to short working here, in short working, it will be by G limited, 1,600. 1,600. Okay. Now, what else is happening? What else is happening in the fourth year? There is a transfer. Certain short working which cannot be recouped is being transferred to the PNL account. Now, short working for the lessee is a loss. Okay, for the in the books of the lessee, it's a loss for him because he couldn't recover that. He still had to make the payment to the landlord and he couldn't recover the short working. In the PNL account, which side will it come? If it's a loss, which side do losses or expenses come? Debit side, right? So, what will be the entry? PNL account debit to uh, short working. So, in, we don't have a PNL account, but we have a short working account. So, in short working, how will it come? By PNL. What is this? This is short working transfer to PNL account, which cannot be recouped. How much cannot be recouped? Right. 900 couldn't be okay. and finally transfer this to your trading account by trading account 13,600 Close the accounts. Your landlord account will tally. So 13.6 here. Close this one. How much is the balance carried down? How much is the balance carried down? 43 minus uh, 25, 1000. Do we check the statement? The balance carried forward is 1800 in the fourth year. It has to tally with the statement. Okay, so bring down the balance first January 2002. Two balance brought down 1800. And this account. 
closes. Just take your attendance. Michelle Simon, uh, Vaishnavi, Swizzle, Avisha, Amiya, Wilman, Rishvesh, Joyce, Arti, Arti, Manisha, Vanisha, Eunice, Simran, uh, Michelle, Vaughn, Olivia, Mieka, Anisha, Delisha, Sanria, Einstein, Sanria, Siddhalingesh. Where were you? Not to be seen since February. Suraj, even you, Suraj, on and off. Mantan, your Mantan or Jogale? Mantan. Uh, Vansila and Shabnam. The ones online, your attendance will be generated. Anyone I missed here? Okay, let's continue. So we're coming to the fifth year now. Stop talking. We come to the fifth year. Let's just quickly pass these entries. Now in the fifth year, again, royalty is more than the minimum rent. So the same set of entries again. So first entry is royalties account debit to 2G Limited. And the royalty is how much? 10,800. Stop, stop talking. So in G Limited, you will have Ten thousand eight hundred. Wilman. Next, it's a payment. Landlord account to bank. In case there's any short working, that is recoup. Okay, so we have a short. If there is, see, if there's nothing in this column, if there's no short working recoup, it's landlord to bank, not to short working. So it will be landlord to bank. Now we have, since there's a short working recoup, it's landlord to bank to short working. Okay, so it's 31st December 2002 to bank and to short working. To bank and to short working. How much is paid to the landlord? 9,600 and how much is recouped? 1,200. 9,600 and 1,000. Transfer the short working here. Buy. Buy G Limited 1,200. We also have short working that's transferred to PNL account. So similarly, we need to say buy PNL account. Buy P and L account. How much is transferred? 600. 600. And then here you are. Transfer this to the trading account. Ten thousand eight hundred. Close the landlord account. Landlord account will tally. Short working account you have. A short working account is also tallying. Yeah. Now 
Now the last year, now the last year is a situation where again the minimum rent is more than the actual royalty. So the first set of entries. Okay, so the first set of entries. So what are the what are those entries? Royalties account debit, short working account debit to landlord. So we have here two. Two G Limited. How much is the royalty? Nine thousand seven hundred. Then we have short working account debit. Two G Limited. Thirty first December two thousand and three. Two G Limited. How much is the short working? Three hundred. Three hundred, and finally, in this account we say two thousand and three. By royalties is how much? Nine thousand seven hundred, and the next thing is to bank. How much is paid to the landlord? Ten thousand. So this will tally here. Okay. Transfer this to the trading account. Okay, we'll continue. I'll complete this. You have to transfer this to the trading account.